You know, just thinking out loud here, kind of, because, uh, you know, half the time I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So, uh, what I'm looking at is I need to bend up this way. So I could, I could weld some stuff together, there's a couple of different options, but what I'm kind of thinking here is, what I wanted was, I kind of wanted a pass-through hole, so that as I press it, I could just keep pressing it, it would just drop out the bottom, that way I don't have a problem, you know, trying to squeeze this and pull it back out of the hole, uh, you know, with this still on it, that kind of stuff, with this binding up, so I'm kind of hoping to uh, do something like that. So I think this would be strong enough that if I put a pocket in there all the way through, I can radius the edges on both sides here to give a nice, uh, for the bending. I'm also thinking about making it wide enough so that I could do it in quarter inch. Uh, all that means is when, if I do it out of something thinner, it'll be splayed a little bit when it comes out, and I'll just have to like put it in the vise and squeeze it uh, uh, a little tighter maybe. Um, not quite sure on that. I may start with it narrow and see how it works. and. Uh, you know, start with the eighth inch and go from there. With, that's probably what I'm going to do. Trying to bend quarter inch, bend bend quarter inch that tight is going to be a, a kind of a pain. Anyway, part of the reason for the width here is because then that way I've got enough s strength on the sidewall here. And if I make it about this long, then you know I can put down. It'll it'll span the rails on my press. Okay. Uh, so it'll be easier to hold it and set it up there. That way I can keep you know, clean shot through the bottom. Uh, and the other thing is, too, is then, you know, I could weld, uh, I could tack down, you know, a, a tab or whatever, so that when I laid the, uh, oh, that thing is heavy. You know, so that when I laid a piece down, you know, there'd, there'd be a tab on either side to uh, line it up against. Okay. Um, that way I could set this down there and, I, and, I, and it would line up on the hole this way. Uh, then I got to decide, it's about eight inches. I, I got to decide, you know, do I want to make one side extra long so I can put a tab out there. I, you know, heck, I could also take a, uh, you know, a longer, thinner piece of steel <laughs> and so the, the guide that would be here, I could bring it out and I could have a notch cut in it you know, all the way out here. So that way, when this went up against it, you know, this notch would be sitting here. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. It won't matter if that really sticks out. That ought to work. Um, I guess we'll see. We will see. Let's uh, decide how long I want to make that. That's... Well, if that's an inch and a half, and that's an inch and three quarters, and another inch and a half. All right, let's call it five inches, because it's four and seven eighths. So we'll call it five inches and go cut the chunk off. This is the, the last side here. Basically, uh, I'm using the uh, the face mill here just to, to knock this down, to get the heavy stuff done, because uh, it's so long and tedious to do with a fly cutter. But I will probably, at least on the side that I'm going to uh, do my uh, notch on and the work and everything like that, I will probably go ahead and do a fly cut on that and see if I can't get a nice, uh, nice even face on there. And uh, so... A little more work here to knock this down and uh, call it good.
Yeah, it's taken hours to do what should have taken, you know, 15-20 <laughs> minutes. But I finally have the block uh, all uh, cleaned up. You know, I, I could have cut a little more, cleaned the corners up and that stuff, but you know, it, it would have worked as a rusty block. So, there's uh, no point in doing it anymore. So now, to uh, see about boring a hole in there, and I decided on 3 16 I had to go buy another stick of that eighth inch, and while I was there, I was like, well, why the heck would I buy eighth inch if they've got, uh, yeah, I gotta buy one, I might as well buy two, and I just went ahead and bought two 3 16 so then I don't have to question whether or not the eighth inch is strong enough. create a uh, slot that that'll fit in. That's uh, what's going on. I'm going to take it down to probably about an eighth of an inch. I don't need to go all the way down, uh, but that'll give me a good uh, shoulder to reference from. And I'm about halfway there. Well, to start the pocket here, I want to, uh, want to get a hole through there. The end mill is not really, this particular end mill at least, uh, is kind of sort of center cutting. That doesn't mean center drilling. And it's already beat up enough, so uh, I'm going to, I put a half inch in, straight into the collet there so I didn't have to raise the head, lose my zero. So I'm going to punch a hole in there. Um, I may go ahead and punch four more holes. Oh, excuse me, in the uh, corners, just because this is a much faster way to remove metal. Uh, so, we'll see. I'll at least start with this one. So as you can see, I just punched a bunch of holes in there to get rid of a big amount of the metal. It took a... Uh, not even 10 minutes to drill all those holes, I don't think. Um, if it was a CNC machine, I would have set it up and let it go around no matter how slow it was. Uh, but since it's manual, I really don't feel like uh, fighting with it any more than I have to. So, uh, But to give you an idea how much metal was removed... There are chips. Big heavy chips too, everywhere. So, now that I've put the end mill back in and go from here. I figured I'd shoot from the other side since uh, i got to hand crank this uh, back and forth. And, and actually, uh, you know, I can just set myself pretty close to the edge here uh, and put the smaller end mill in later, that way I get a tighter corner. Um, and I, I now looked at it, you know, it's like if I go over there, I, I, didn't, I didn't really need some of these holes, but uh, it'll still, uh, since I'm using such a big end mill, I could take put the 3 ace in right now and just connect the lines around here, and then the center will drop out. So, I mean, I could have come over here and drilled one hole and just, you know, done that and just cut a chunk out and saved having to pull all that out. That probably would have been faster than uh, drilling all the holes, but I'm not too bright, so I didn't figure that out fast enough. Three sixteenths goes in out of there nicely. Nice. Both sides, uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Uh, as far as the other, I'll clean this up just a little bit more. I'm not going to open that hole up anymore. 